What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color sand with markers and colored pencils. Mixed media. So I'll be using Copic markers for this video and the Copic markers you'll need are E31. I have this marker as a Copic Classic marker or a Copic Original as some people say and a Copic Chow marker. This one has a brush tip for it so it helps me with the blending and I also have this one so it can help me fill in a large area without losing a lot of ink because this one has a limited amount of ink very limited so that's why I have two of them you're also gonna need E33 E35 and E37 to help get some blending in place and also since sand does have a grainy texture I am gonna be using some colored pencils to help get some texture in place and also to help with the blending so that it looks somewhat smooth but also get some texture in place so the colored pencils serve two purposes to help get a grainy texture in place and to help with the shading and I'm using a mixture of both Arteza and Prismacolor colored pencils. So I'm using like a pretty light brown and more of a sienna brown for this one. So I'm using like a light brown for it and I'm also using a sienna brown. But of course you can use any other color that you think may work for this one. But with that being said, let's get started. So what I have here is a sand castle and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, E31 marker and I'm just going to fill in this entire area. All right, now that All right, so now that that's in place, I'm going to begin to use my E33 and just blot in, you know, like um anywhere that I think would uh, need shades and also some parts that don't because this is like a mid-tone to me. So I'm just going to apply this pretty much everywhere. And then I could just blend it out later. I can apply more of this mid-tone color to the places that will need shades, like say the shades will be towards the right hand side. So I'll apply more of this ink towards the right. Like say, here I have this much ink on this side, I have this much ink on that side. Because in a way, this kind of increases the wetness of the ink, which makes it easy to blend darker colors. All right, and now I'm just gonna go back with my initial color and blend it all together. All right, so a lot of the blending we just did, we're not gonna see a lot of it yet because we pretty much didn't do anything yet. But now we can apply more of the darker shades. So we can start with either our darkest or our second to darkest. Um, so right now I'm going to start with my darkest so so I can see that I'm getting some shades in place because it looks to me like we didn't really do anything like I just said. So I'm just going to apply my E37 to the darkest shades which again are towards the right hand side. And then also the little like transition to the ground. I'm just going to apply some of this color towards that. Also some of the battlements, I'm going to apply shades to those. Okay, and that shade is looking pretty dark compared to what we did earlier. So now I'm going to apply my what I'm going to call my transition color to help that blend into the initial color. So my E35 marker, which I just applied, it's a little bit low on ink. And you know what? It actually served a purpose. And you know what? That dried marker look helps show the grain of the sand in some sort of way. But now that that's down, we can go back with our initial color, which is E31, and just blend it all back together.
All right, so this is what the sand castle looks like now. But of course the blending doesn't look the best. So that's why we have our colored pencils. So again, I have two colored pencils. I have a light brown and a dark brown. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the light brown and then work our way towards the darker brown. And you can also use any other additional colors if necessary, but I'm just gonna stick with these two for now. So to help me do that, I'm just gonna go lightly. So what I'm gonna do with the colored pencil, I'm gonna start off with a dark, I'm gonna start off where the darker shades are. And then I'm gonna slowly work towards our base color. And then I'm also going in a circular motion so that way so that way none of the colored pencil strokes would show. And I'm gonna do that to the entire drawing. But I'm gonna try to at least cover up some of the blending with just this one for now. And then we can work our way to the darker one later. Let's see, that's looking a little better. But not uh, the best. Well, but do keep in mind, we, ha we haven't applied our other colored pencil yet, so we still gotta do that. But for now, we're just gonna stick with this one, so. All right, now that we apply our light brown, so pretty much the entire piece, certain parts I didn't cover, but that's what I did. I'm gonna go on with my darker brown. It's just not very, very dark brown, but it's similar to the darkest shade that I put down here. But it's similar to my E37 uh, Copic marker. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more pressure to it compared to how I applied my other colored pencil. Alright, so the dark color pencil really did make a change with the shading and it did help get a more grainy feeling to this sand castle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with my darkest marker. I'm not going to do anything big because we're done with that now. We're pretty much done here. But now I'm just going to add like a few spots here and there. Just like this. Nothing big, just you can add them pretty much everywhere. You can make it look exactly like sand. And you don't even got to do it with your darkest colors. You can pretty much do it with like, now I'm going to take out like a pinkish color that's also a mixture of like a little bit of a brown. But this is also a Copic marker. It's E04. I'm going to apply that here and there as well. Get sort of a pinkish feeling going on. But you won't see much of a difference unless you actually look at it closely. But after you do that, that's pretty much how you color sand. So if you liked the video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.